Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 15. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. And if you are, thank you guys so much. It means a lot to us. And yeah, for today, we have not been doing anything but cleaning. We've just been deep cleaning all day. I deep cleaned my husband's closet. I'm doing laundry, deep cleaning the fridge. I went to the grocery store and I haven't put any of that away until I do clean up the fridge completely. So yeah, it's a mess around here. Uh, my husband was doing some yard work, which if you know him, that's like a miracle that he was actually out there doing something. But yeah, we've just been cleaning all day. Nothing special going on around here. Um, my parents just called me that they are gonna be coming by. So yeah, there's nothing much going on, but still want to show you guys. I'm trying to keep up with Vlogmas. So yeah, guys, just enjoy. And if you want to see what we're up to, then just keep on watching. actually be to my mom um one now if um the old bitch out one now now he got it all in so ta-da I almost got it in not that much so yeah no uh oh the whole the no, so the whole, the no, the whole. Hi guys, my mom on here. See? Look at that one. Mom, everyone wants to see you. Ta da! That's my PM, mom. Oh, boy, I keep dropping everything. <laughs> That's kind of funny, guys. So we have all of our freaking groceries out and I haven't started putting anything away because we have a disaster literally everywhere guys. Every freaking where. Look at this shit. Oh my god. The fridge is clean though so I'm starting to put everything away now. I'll show you guys when I am completely done. So the fridge is officially done. Just organized really quick. Threw out a whole bunch of food. And now I have all of these dishes waiting for me. Least favorite part, but we are done at least. We can move on. My parents are here, so perfect timing. My little sister over here making sopa. <laughs> She feels like a chef because she knows how to make sopa now. And the best thing about it is that she's making it for her elder brother. For Jesus over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, mommy. Yeah. No. It's about time, it. girl. Almost 23 and barely learning how to cook. <laughs> she's like, yeah, my name's 10. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna make this what? first. I don't know. You said you know how you do what you gotta do. <laughs> I gotta try this. I gotta wash those dishes too. Where's the knife? Oh my god. Right in your face. I'll show you guys how her sopa turns out at the end. A ver si es cierto que muy buena. Dang, you know how to handle a knife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Se te va a quemar la sopa. You gotta be mixing it. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so it's like eight. It's past eight o'clock at night. My parents are gone. I just got out of the shower. Um, and I had started editing 
today's vlog and realized that it was really really short um so i didn't i didn't just want to leave it off like that plus i i have been um there's been something on my mind that i wanted to talk to you guys about or kind of like yeah talk to you guys about ask for your opinions or um your personal experiences on it so i might as well just bring it up now because it is something that i have to um get get started on or like get the process going so yeah i just um i wanted to talk about if i don't know if it's tmi for some people but i wanted to talk about birth control okay so um just to like backtrack and give you guys a little history for me personally um after having daisy and darlene i've only ever used um birth control pills and they worked fine everything was perfect but i just after having denise i was just i didn't want something that i had to take every single day and it's not like i would forget to take it i'm actually pretty good at remembering to take it every day at the same time but i just wanted something that like longer you know not something every day so after um after i had denise i have been on the depot the depo shot, I don't know if you guys know um, or if you're familiar with it, but the depo shot is every three months. So every three months, I'm going to the doctor to get that shot. And again, it's worked fine. Obviously, I'm not pregnant, but um, there has been some side effects that I've noticed since I've been on it that I do not like. Uh, one of them being weight gain. That's the one that's the main thing honestly um since having denise i i didn't go back to like my pre-baby weight but i lost a lot of weight and i am actually 15 pounds heavier right now not pregnant than when i just gave birth to her so to me that's just insane i'm i'm literally weighing like what i've weighed pregnant because I, I don't usually gain a lot of weight during my pregnancy so um to know that it's just it's such like I don't know how to explain it such frustration and such disappointment that I'm trying to work out and I'm trying to stay consistent with working out and there's just nothing to show for it you know and the last time that I went to go get my depo shot which was back in October um, I, I brought that up to my doctor and I told her, you know, what I'm going through and that I'm trying to lose weight and somehow every time I go every three months, I'm gaining weight constantly, even if it's just a pound or two or three, but every time I go, I'm up. And even if I'm trying to lose weight, I just, I don't lose it. And it's so frustrating, you know? And um, when I told her that, she said that with Depo, it is actually like the biggest side effect for devil is weight gain. And I, I asked, isn't it a side effect for any birth control method? She said yes, but for some reason with depo, it's it's the worst. With depo, it's, it's the most significant birth control that will show weight gain. Um, she said that women gain an average of, I think she said like 30 pounds being on it. So I'm like, fuck that. Like, I'm already up 15 pounds. Like, I'm not trying to go up anymore. And she, she did say, like, if you're working out and stuff while on the depot, you literally have to work out, like, twice as much because it's just you can't keep up. So knowing that, I've been thinking about changing my birth control method now. And that's where you guys come in. I want to know personally your experiences I could just google it and pros and cons of each one but I want to know your personal experiences if you guys are um, using any of the methods that I'm actually planning on considering so I've actually been considering either I want something that is more longer term we know we don't want to have any more kids that's a fact um, but he doesn't want to get a vasectomy. I don't want to get my tubes tied. I'm scared too. So only choice right now is just to keep using birth control. 
I would rather not and um, I want to convince them to get a vasectomy and that way I it doesn't fall on me to be taking care of myself all the damn time but until I can convince him you know knowing we don't want any more kids it is on me to um, you know take care of myself so I have been considering either the the implant what is it called the implant on the arm or the IUD but I can't decide which one and um, that's why I wanted to ask you guys do any of you have are are any of you guys using either method what are your pros and cons on it because yeah this way being like dude I can't like it, it's so frustrating that you're trying and there's nothing to show for it you know you just you just keep gaining weight so um yeah i want to know personally for you guys if you are using either the implant or the iud um let me know all about it how it's, it's been for you guys if you guys have any negative side effects what they are i know everyone is different but i just want to know you know from your experiences how it's been what do you recommend or what do you not recommend if you've had any negative experiences with one of them like just let me know all of your input on it because i need to get this done asap because um they did tell me that um if i did decide to either get the implant or the iud or the iud i need to get it done before my next depo shot is due and it's already due in january i have to go in january so i just have the rest of this month to actually make a decision call the clinic because they said that they don't like carry them in stock like if you decide you want one you have to go in sign a form and then they'll order it for you and schedule an appointment to get it done so i i literally just have this month to get it done and i've been lagging it so yeah i'm I'll, i'm gonna do a poll on instagram as well maybe you guys don't feel like as comfortable sharing your stories down in the comments where everyone can see them so if you feel more comfortable maybe sending a dm where nobody will see it then i'll go ahead and do that i'll do a poll um who's using what and you guys can let me know like i said pros and cons side effects anything negative anything anything let me know your stories that way i can decide i think i'm leaning towards the implant but yeah i just want to know your guys stories on it so yeah that's pretty much it guys it's kind of random tmi maybe but you didn't make it no i don't have a zip on it's like a shower oh. <laughs> all right guys so like i was saying um yeah that's it for today's video um make sure to chat with me down in the comments or if you're not comfortable with it on Instagram I just really need your guys' input and feedback on what you guys are using um, but yeah that's it for today so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye